How about this one? Smash everybody, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again, do that again. Kill everybody, brother. I'm just gonna match everybody, brother. I respect Robbie, but I'm gonna smash everybody, Man, brother. But, but Best podcast in the business. The name is Show Me The Money. Welcome back to the Show Me The Money podcast. We are back in the studio in person. I got to call my boy Moikana real quick. Moikana, pick up, bro. What's up, my brother? <laughs> How you feeling? How'd your picks do this weekend, bro? My pick was ter <laughs> terrible, my brother. But I heard that yours are crazy, right? 100,000, baby. Brother. Gilbert's over here talking shit about my 100,000. <laughs> Go ahead, Gilbert. Hey. Go ahead. Ask a question. Look at this guy, bro. So happy. <laughs> He's so happy, like the level of disrespect. Yeah, hey, bro, yeah. how long, how long, thank you. How long <laughs> it took you to, to make a hundred thousand in UFC fighting? How uh, many fights? Today or back in no, the no, day? Back in the days when you got, just got in the UFC, boom. So, but you, you, you have to ask that even before UFC yeah. or after UFC? Because before, if you put before UFC. Before right? UFC, I never made it. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, not, not even hundred K, but let's say you start. How yeah. much money you made? Outside UFC, that's a good question too. I I just I make one time I make good money when I won the world the world pro championship, but with eight grants, and I was so very happy. Because and it was jujitsu eight grants. Yeah, I make eight grants in the, in the world pro, and then that was 2010, 11. I lost in the semifinals, but 11 I became a world champion. But it just got a medal. Hey, no money, just a medal. <laughs> and I start doing seminars, DVD. When I make my DVD, I make a, a good money in japan but yeah that's it but then first fight in ufc a plus eight and then pay back a lot of things both paid 20 percent yeah. then second fight 10 plus 10 but then i got the bonus so 70 so we a plus 8 16, 30, 80, 80. how much is the bonus 50. 50. Oh, so you're at 86k and two fights. 86k and then so your the third fight so your and third then fight. on the second fight i won again and i got the bonus but then i thought i was rich After a little bit, I was broke again. <laughs> so How many UFC tell. fights did Let me tell you. Before UFC, <coughs> 10 fights, 2K, brother. If wow. you put everything together, oh. they will fucking pay me like 100 reais. And he's still <laughs> happy with the guy that was paying him. Yeah, and, that, and I was Halid. happy. Yeah. He's still, he's How still old is that guy? I, I was like 21. And okay, believe okay. you or not, I was on the table after the, the fights. And the promoter was like, like Matty Betts right now with a lot of ma money cash. <laughs> and then he would say... He would say, uh, fight, uh, whatever, come here. And then he would pay. How Johnny much Walker. I owe you? Yeah. And Johnny Walker, come here. Yeah, straight come cash. Here. Supuria, straight come here. Cash. Where and was that? That was in, in Brazil, Jungle Fight. Ah, yeah. Okay. Like, I think 2011, yeah. 12, something Maybe. like that, a long time 10, ago. 11, yeah. And then I was so happy that I, that, I, that I made the money. And he said, hey, I have, to pay you, I have to pay you 4K. And I say, 4K? I was very surprised because on my contract was like one or two. Yeah. I go, are you sure? And he looked at me. No, no, it's 2K. And then he gave me 2K. Uh, <laughs> wow. And then my coach is, why you, you act is, like that? And I yeah. say, I don't know, man. I thought I, th I thought it was 2K. And they say, no, just accept the 4K. Just say, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah just say, now, okay. Nowadays, But I was surprised. Nowadays, yeah. if I ask, hey, I gotta give you 5K, what are you gonna say? No, no, it's eight, brother. It's eight. <laughs> <laughs> Today, if, if they happen, oh, I say, hey. it's so eight. How many USC fights did it take so, you to so get do to you think that, Do you think for him it was bad? Let me tell you. That was only, no, Mine. that was two and a half for you, right? Three. Yeah. Three so three first fight, yeah. eight, eight. Yeah. Second fight, 10, 10. Third fight, 14, 14. But how crazy is that? My third fight, I was so fighting Jeremy Stevens. Not 12, not That's 12, 54, 14, after 14. Three. So after three, you're at 54,000. Yeah, but I was fighting the number five guy in the world. Bro. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, wow. What was your number fourth five. fight? What was your fourth? Fourth, Brian Ortega. Oh, how much, how much that you fight? How much you made to fight Brian Ortega? Uh, 33, 33. Oh, wow. But I just made 33 because so I lost. Yeah. So but I got the bonus. I got the bonds. Mm. So, so you didn't make 100K to your fifth fight. Yeah. How crazy fourth, is that? Yeah. Fourth fight. Nah, because he was at 56. Then he made 33 against Ortega. Oh, no, but yeah, I got the bonds. He got the bonds. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I got the bonds. So three, so four fights. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You took me three fights. Take you four for same thing. Yeah. 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 Really? Well. Yeah, but think about that. Brian Ortega. Fight, yeah. fight that My fourth fight, I fought number fifteen. Freaking guy was kind of undefeated. Was uh, Magomedov? I forgot the guy. Uh, Hashid, 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 freaking tough dude. <laughs> and I lost, and I got like eighteen or twenty something like that, and I was <laughs> broke again. It's crazy because I <clears throat> now now that we are fucking veterans, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I see these guys, like we were talking about Jean Silva yeah, and yeah, yeah. these guys. And I'm pretty sure UFC is squeezing them, brother. It's 100%. like, yeah. like getting very little money. Don't watch that UFC. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying this is bad. This is the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like Mary over here. He makes 100 K and he don't pay anybody, brother. Everybody has the same oh, money. Okay. But yeah. like he was saying, when I lose, nobody pays me back. Right? So it is what it is, yeah, my brother. Yeah, yeah. You would be shocked to see my cell phone after I went 100K. I got aunts and uncles coming out of the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I got family members. I got... I got, Trust me. There's a reason there's not 100K sitting right here, okay? Yeah, there's but I was, I was talking that because these guys, they just got in the UFC. They like the hype, right? Yeah. But... Oh, look at that. Givich is, is trying to get your money. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I forget about it, guys. But, but UFC loves the, these fighters, right? Yeah. And yeah, but but what yeah, about you? Yeah. When was the first time that you make make a hundred k on life and on bets? In life, uh, I mean, how old were 25, you? Twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. But I was in the restaurant business. Twenty five was my first time. But hundred k year or you less than a year? No, in a year, I was six, when, six when you, figures. When you say you're in the restaurant business, you were like you're the driving on the, <laughs> on the valet. I, you were cooking or something? How you cooking? I owned and operated franchises in restaurants. Okay, see, yeah. with 25. Um, that's a big award for. 25, 26. That's yeah. different level because me and my kind of, we operate on the on the restaurant too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were, ah, but I did we that driving, shit. We were flipping the burgers, we flipping the, the plates. Bro, you know? yeah. you have any idea how many pretzels, how many smoothies, how many things I've made in my life by hand? Not much, up, not much. Hundreds of thousands. Hey, of not numbers. much. I, I, I hold the the world record for the, I hold the world record for the fastest nah, pretzel. Swear, I, really? Two point six seconds. It's like this. Nah. Cut the shit. Bam. Nah. You, you I'll make a pretzel, bro. Annie has pretzels. Really, That's my background. Believe. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on. Look at these guys. No, hold on. Let me do uh, hey, generate hey, AR art. What was your first your first job, my Hold on, bro. I'm gonna show you, Robert. Brother. I, I never work with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make this guy feel bad. We're gonna never work. With never work with my brother. I, I'm the world's fastest pretzel roller. You see that shit? Yeah. Yeah. Now you see. I was in the trenches growing no, up. I was in the trenches. I was behind the counter rolling pretzels. You know what happened, helping right? customers, making lemonades. I fucking grew up in this you shit. You know bro. what happened these days, right? The, the, kind of the guy didn't come. The guy didn't come to work. And they say, <laughs> hey, boss, <laughs> we don't have no one. <laughs> he started bad. crying. Okay, I'm going to do it. Watch how fast that how was, old, bro. How old are you in this? <laughs> like in this 20, 26? 25, 26, But bro. you're the owner of the business. Yeah, right but here. I still was a slave to my business. I worked every single day, bro, behind the counter. No, I we have to give him props. Asset. That's fast, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fast like Hamzat by submission, That's bro. That's fast, my brother. You were rich, my brother. You were a champion. I respect you. All right, let's talk about these fights. Moicano, how'd your picks go this week? <laughs> you got to pull up Moicano. Or Kyle, pull up Moicano's uh, Brazilian YouTube channel. We got to read these comments, bro. But yeah. real shit on a real note, Ilya Taporia, Hamzat Chemaev, they were favored for a reason. They both got it done. Yeah, Incredible yeah. performances. Incredible. Which one was more impressive to you? Because Ilya knocked out a guy never been knocked out. Mm -hmm. And Hamzat submitted a guy that never been submitted in the UFC. Who do you think had the more impressive performance? For me, the most impressive was Hamzat because uh, I picked Topuri to win. So I kind of yeah. I kind of saw the Topuri the way to win. I even said it's going to be hard to find a decent. But eventually, if he, if he lands a clean one, Max was going down. But then... I thought the other way around. I thought Witt will be able to defend the 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 the, <clears throat> the takedowns. And he kind of did on the beginning. But then on the second one, on the second takedown attempt, 
I kind of don't like Rob's face when Hamza took him down at the second time when he was scramble up. Hamza shoot again, yeah. and I don't like his face when he start pushing and then he was defending and kind of Hamza get the arm and he was. I I just felt that felt defeated. You know that that tough. I remember like yeah, <laughs> he's defeated. I didn't like that, and then yeah. and it's very hard. Just like me and Moikan were talking about because. Not a lot of guys can play guard in the UFC. They don't know how to do jiu-jitsu. They don't know how to do the grips. They give the back. If you gave it back for just a wrestler, just a regular guy, it's fine. Yeah. But if you give it back to freaking Moicano, to Hamza, to so many guys, Ortega, Charles. Charles. Yeah. You dumb, my brother. You cannot do that. So it, it it's easy saying here, right? Sitting on the yeah. couch and talking, but when you sign up to fight these guys, yeah. you gotta be ready, bro. You gotta put yourself in this position with the best guys in the world. And the one thing that got me that I just, man, why he didn't do that, Rob? You know what? The guy that beat the Russian, the really beat the Russian game was an, an Australian, was freaking Craig Jones. You saw how Volk did so good against Islam in the first fight. Why yeah. Craig Jones was there running the camp, getting a couple guys, showing him. He freaking did, did it, uh, he made a DVD out of that. Yeah. So Robbie being Australian, I said, man, he's going to work with Craig Jones. But he didn't. Then comes out, look amazing. And yeah. he got to finish breaking his whole freaking mouth with, with the teeth, with the tongue, with, with everything. But this guy, Bro. He, he looks amazing. I'll tell you what. Ask any of the, my boys that have been around me when I've had submission parlays. Every time, I always feel like I'm about to get screwed, right? Like, he's about to be under the neck. The round either ends or he finds a way out of it. I've never in my life hit a sub submission bet that's been that fast of a tap. I was in shock when it happened because, A, it was the last leg of the 100K parlay. But, B, it was like I'm always waiting for something to happen, and he tapped so fast. Mm. And then we learned after the fight it was because of the jaw and the teeth, and it had to have been so much pain for him. To so tap much. that fast. I was not ready for him to tap that fast. Why are you using my glasses, my brother? Bro, I bought you a pair. I bought myself another pair. Where's your pair? <laughs> he I he sold home. already. He bought home. Bitcoin. I sold him by Bitcoin. I forgot I owe a pair, bro. Come on, bro. I do owe Gilbert a how, pair. How do I look? Oh. Hey, Maddie. No, look fine. like a driver yeah, truck, yeah, my brother. This is a monster, too, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Someone take a picture. Hey, I'm going to say it. The Gucci shades, Hey, man, bro. let me tell yeah. something, hey, my brother. How, how about that one? How about this one? Smash everybody, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> <laughs> do that again. Do that again. Kill everybody, <laughs> buddy. I'm just going to mash everybody, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> I respect Robbie, but... <laughs> but it's smash everybody, man, buddy. But, but let, me, let me tell something. <laughs> <laughs> And Gilbert, oh <laughs> since you fought him, you know better. Why? Because I made a video and people were talking about this. And that's what Maddie said on the comments because somebody write down. Write down Moicano, it's not Chimaev is on depression. Everybody that lost money because of you is on depression right now. Because what, what was the problem? I saw the, the press conference and oh, usually... Yeah. I saw against him, I gonna smash everybody. Yeah. And on this one, he was very calm. Well, you calm. know why? It's because Brad Whitaker is such a nice guy. He, he didn't want to be I'm like that. I'm a nice guy too. Why, why, you, why are you saying I'm not a nice guy? He wasn't like... I'm wasn't, not a nice guy, bro. No, you did you did the scene. Somebody bring like a translation. Was he like that against you? No, he was... He, I bro, remember when he came up to you. And he was chest up all the time, looking at me, sizing me down. Yeah, like, like grabbing your arm. Like, oh, do something. I remember that, yeah. But I just feel like. So why do you think he was like that? Why do you guys? I think? just think he tried to be more calm. He tried to be that guy. It didn't work. And I do think too, people. A lot of people was doubting him. You know, like yeah. after my fight, after Kamara's fight, people were destroying him you know, online. Oh, this guy's not this is not that. So he kind of like you know what? Yeah. Let me stay relaxed on this fight. And uh, and I think he changed so much too. I think this fight when you tweet. I like what you said. You said, bro, this guy's going to sink or he's going to swim because it was a lot of pressure. Man, the level of disrespect, fight. somebody will show me the money, just made this post saying, talking shit about this post. And, and this post was not about me against you, my boss. This is a defined moment for yes, him, brother. This is, now he's going to be a star or, or he's yeah. going to, to sink. 100%. 100%. Yeah, and, and then he showed up. But I think he was just calm mm. because... 
it was a lot of changes, you know. The guy yeah. used to go crazy, try to fight every time, and then he started getting sick, and then he he no more in, in Swiss. He moved to Abu Dhabi. Then Andreas, his coach, the general, was not there. It was the freaking scientist guy. So it was a lot of change, you know. I think I, I like it. You know what? To be honest, right now, looking, I like that he was very calm and he showed up the way he did. He's yeah. even more dangerous now. Now he don't need to like. Do you, you think know. that if if Whitaker survived round one, do you think the fight would eventually still played out the same, or would it change very quickly? So hard to say. Doesn't matter, bro. Doesn't matter. So hard to say if. Right. Doesn't if, matter. If, no, right, right. Yeah. Very hard. I just wonder because I like his gas tank to me. I mean, it's not only only saw round one, but I do feel like it was improved. But a lot of guys start strong like that. But when you start strong like that, if the guy, yeah. if the guy don't fight back, you're gonna destroy the guy. So yeah. both guys waste energy. Yeah. So the take down defense of Albert Whitaker is legendary. Yeah. Everybody's talk about how good his defense. Right, brother, was it? completely domination he destroyed domination. i was like I, i was saying i was very doubting yeah. chimaev's career even after usman yeah. but it's, it's like you say yeah. sometimes when you see the fight you have to look it back and say hey usman looking good right, right. was usman looking good yeah you know for sure for i was sure. very impressed but to me i was more impressed with filia topuria yeah all right well before we go on Ilya topuria last question on hamza if you're the usc do you make ddp Versus Hamza, or do you keep it DDP versus Strickland? What's your move? I would like to see Chimaev fighting for the title after the performance. I I was like that too. Because until, if you look at that, but until I remember, Sean Strickland beat I Paulo think, Costa. But I think Sean Strickland beat DDP on the first fight. And I already give my word to the guy saying, let's like, say you Dana White, you Moicano White. They don't care about them. You Moicano White, right? DDP. DDP. I'm getting I get involved with them already. <laughs> almost. So he, maybe soon. You're almost there. <laughs> but DDP beat Strickland, but it was a very controversial, right? Yeah. Everybody thought. Very close fight. I have Sean Strickland, Strickland money won. line. And it was... Me too. I have Strickland winning. Yeah. And money then... line? You betting, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, DDP go out there and, and beats Adesanya. Yeah. We got to make that rematch, you know, because the guy went there, took a fight. That but he I, don't, had I you. think it's business. <clears throat> I but I think this, he already this, give the award. The money even, from Saudi know, Arabia. But yeah. even even yeah. being a business, he already give you a award that you next. He, the contract was signed. Yeah. You know, like. I think my opinion, though, is Hamza fights once in a blue moon. Just make the yeah. DDP Strickland fight and then let yeah. Hamza come in. Yeah. And yeah. think about it. If the USC is trying to build Hamza, you already know DDP Strickland is going to be a war. That should yes. make it be an easy fight for either side. Let these two go at each other and then bring Hamza in for the winner. I think it's a no brainer. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. So. Who would you take in that in that matchup? It was Hamza for Strickland. Who are you going with? Chimaev versus everybody. Smash everybody, smash everybody, my brother. Everybody. Smash everybody. Chimaev was smash oh, man. everybody. One thing, you go back and watch the tape. On, I was telling Moikana before you got here. You watch the tape on DDP versus Derek Brunson round one. Ha Brunson had a lot of success. Yes. Like kind of ragged on him in, for a few minutes in round one. You Brad know, so, Tavares too was having success. on. Yeah. I yeah, even on every, the takedown. Hey, everybody was having success until we were done with Adesanya. that guy. Everybody was having success. These, I'm telling you, I traded this guy. This guy is super awkward. Yeah. We we spar maybe three times. The yeah. first time was so awkward that I had to spar this guy again and say, let's go again. And imagine if and they, we, imagine but, they, they put Shimaev and he beats Shimaev. But imagine if he's in a fight. Remember, you probably trained a couple guys that he's so awkward. They're like, man, I'm so lucky that I'm training with this guy because to figure it out, this guy yeah. out in a fight, yeah. sometimes it's too late, you know? But so, do you think, but do you think so? In the rematch with Strickland versus DDP, do you think that of the fact that Sean's been in there with five rounds with him, it's going to be a, more of a benefit for Sean, or do you think it's it's pretty even? I think it's going to be super even. I think it's going to be a war again. Five rounder, but yeah. yeah, I think it's going to be a war. Maybe yeah. Strickland come with a couple of tricks. I like his his coach a lot, Eric Nixon. The guy does a great, great job. Man, I, I think he's gonna come with new strategies for sure. Eric saw his fight against uh, Adesanya for sure. They make a lot of adjusts, but so did DDP too. The DDP saw Sean Strickland against uh, yeah. Bohashinha. Yeah, he's, but I I do believe it's gonna be a war again. Those guys both going forward crazy. I I I'm I'm gonna be entertaining that fight again. Yeah, no, I agree. All right, let's talk about Sapporia versus Holloway. 
first time Tapori has, or first way Holloway's been knocked out. 30 professional fights, or 30, 29 UFC fights. That was his 30th. 29 fight. UFC fights. 29 bro. UFC fights. Wow. The best chin of the sport, right? One left hook is all it took. Michael Bisping came out and said that this dude's left hook is better than Alex Pereira's. What do you he's, think about that? He's cleaner, right? He's... Let's let's not go over each other, brother. <laughs> shama, 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 my brother. His but, left hook is more technical. Uh, Topuria probably. Bro. Technical <laughs> no, topuria. I know, but he's very hard to say these. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what do you mean the technique? Yeah. The, 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 That's the, the debate. The angle, online. you know, the angle. Because the Poitain throws like po that. Poitain, yeah. Poitain, boom, and yeah. throws it, but. Topuria throws, but Topuria throws very nice. She was very like. So Topuria is. Actually, it looks nice, but I know, I know, work, I, I know, I know. People are gonna, yeah. People are gonna hate this, but especially <laughs> because over over the G, we have a couple guys like Evlo. I was talking to him yesterday. Yeah. And I was, you know, you were not impressed about that. And he said, "No, I think Max was like giving. He was not impressed by that, but." Um, me myself, brother. I think guy this is guy monster, is. Yeah. I think he's better than McGregor. Yeah. Would was. ever be. Wow. You know, yeah. because McGregor is like we we didn't see the best McGregor. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. McGregor was. Whenever uh, he was getting his prime. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He he, he, yeah. he he got so much money that he went crazy. But yeah. I think Topuria is better than even if McGregor. Would yeah. take the the right path, you know. Yeah, he's twenty seven still. That's the crazy thing is there's an argument that striking, yeah. wrestling, grappling, grappling from level jiu jitsu. Grappling. Yeah. Man, these guys to think to think about that he go over there and knock Max fucking Holloway like that, and I think he he won two rounds. And Conor fought against Max. He didn't do that. You no, know, like he, yeah, he, no. Man, I I just I was so impressed but, with but, these guys. But too. in reality, Topuria is not gonna be never on the same level as McGregor, I think, because that uh, was a window of opportunity. You know, the sport was growing. I think you this know. Guy have, has no, potential. he's not gonna never. He has potential. He's to only get, twenty-seven, bro. He he has potential. These guys, whenever you know, when I saw the difference, I always saw this guy. He was always had a when he came to the gym, crazy crew with him, two three cars. So much, so much cameras. A lot of guys was that level, you know. You see the guys different. Yeah. But then when I saw this guy with the belt going in the stadium, freaking Real Madrid game, everyone yeah. stopped. I was just like, wow, because it's a different level. Maybe because of the size too, because Spain is a small country. But in Brazil, why they didn't do that with with freaking Porto when he came back with the belt or Oliver when he came with the belt? I just think the level. The size of of because we have a lot of champions, we have a lot I of know, history. But you know? is gonna be different, bro. When you have only this one good guy, fighter, mm. tell me another yeah. Spanish fighter. I Spanish agree. Fighter. I agree. Right, right. But he's not. He's, but that kind of helps his case because he can rally the whole yeah. country. Yeah, for Brazil is a no, bunch no, of yeah. guys. He can, he was like Mackie Greg on the Ireland, were, right? Small yeah, country yeah, yeah. from but Europe. He got the whole Europe, Georgia, yeah. Germany. Uh, uh, Spain, he's gonna get the whole, but Europe. you have to realize Kona was like the full package, right? Because yeah, he could yeah. fight good boxer, this guy too, and he could he could talk. And I think the English is not, yeah, is not the best right. part of Topura. Co Kona was quick, you remember on the Nature Jews yeah. interview, you can but, count five, Nate. He, that kind of stuff is I crazy. Know, he's know, one but, of a kind in that regard, I know. Yeah. But if the UFC, whenever, whenever. Shut Dana up, Kyle said, Betts. When, when, whenever, <laughs> whenever Dana said he's gonna bring the UFC <clears throat> to Spain yeah. on freaking stadium, oh, that's gonna be. Crazy. I just think the first role who's gonna be there, yeah. Vinicius Junior, Mbappe, like everybody, bro. Yeah. He's gonna, I, I do believe his effect's gonna be bigger. Yeah. Think about UFC Spain, Mbappe, Vinicius Junior, Sergio Ramos, and the whole freaking Real Madrid. Now think about he giving another devastating knockout on on the. Uh, yeah. Volkanovski. But, but just, remember, just, just, just but think real quick. Just think, to put, uh, Vinicius out. Jr. Boom. The other guy, Sergio Ramos. The yeah, other yeah. guy and the other bro. That's gonna reach billions of people. Like he's gonna be crazy, yeah. and I think he can reach that level. And eventually, he. he I do believe you, he bitch, can but get you, there. you're missing something, brother. People love a, 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 a history, right? People love to see the history, and what made made McGregor huge. Was the same thing that made at the time uh, 
John Jones or even Anderson Silva, big, the rivalry, my brother, was Jose Aldo and then was Khabib. And even though he lost, you know, yeah. but these guys just destroying people. I don't see nobody. You don't have that, yeah. you know? It's got to be. I but, think it's got to be at 155. But he's already like talking to his line. He's, he's, yeah. he's already, bro. You know, there's got to be. You. I think what we're kind of saying is there has to be like that bad blood rivalry. I'm bad oh, blood who rivalry. Who's that gonna be? Because yeah. I don't see that. Nobody, brother. No. If they throw Volkanovski again, Paddy Pimblich. Paddy <laughs> Pimblich. <laughs> My brother, you you guys remember Vierno when Lopes. they when they Maddie were talking Pimblich. about the hand sanitizer boy and stuff, and people yeah. were ah, oh, Paddy gonna destroy this guy, brother. Destroy <laughs> who? Yeah, this guy is so tough. Paddy, what? take yeah. it easy, my brother. Take it easy, my brother. What's the, what's the actual game plan if you're going to fight? A guy like Ilya Taporia. Because some people. He will be killed. 10 first seconds. For sure. But some people are saying, like, I mean, saw. If, we he saw say, if he says that to you, Moikano, what are you going to do? He's go in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. He said, let's go. He let's go. Shoot. I'm going to start to. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> going to do like Ngano. Feel <laughs> my head. Like Ngano. Uh, Ngano. <laughs> Uh, no, but all right. So Aljamain Sterling came out. Yeah, you know it's crazy because the other day we were talking about Tingano, right? Yeah. And then I and, and then I tweet about Chimaev. That was beautiful. Said, ah, now he's not a fucking puss. <laughs> People are still are still People mad. Are still saying shit, People yeah. still mad at this, my brother. <laughs> he likes a little bit. It's just a fucking joke. Man. <laughs> tweet it, tweet it, tweet it, tweet the files. So all right. So so Aljamain Sterling came out and said that he thinks that his offensive. Grapple and a pace could actually cause some problems to Ilya. <sighs> take take a break. Th yeah, but tell, I see what he's saying though because I see Mirab what he's saying knows. though because I think to have any chance against Ilya, you have to implement your offense on him and put him yeah. on the defense here because if you just you, who's boxing with this guy? Except I posted the other day and I still believe this. Your guy's boy Gene Silva, I think is the best matchup stylistically. If it's not, yeah, it might be the end of next year. It might be the year after. I don't know. But I just think that the way it this might be guy's, never happen, right? We don't know. Yeah, but this guy's movement on the feet bro, and his boxing, yes. bro. I and think power. He, and power. Uh, yeah. I mean, he 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 beat down Drew Dober with broken hands, dude. Yes. Like I really think oh, that Jay Silva could be movie. the guy to 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 dethrone Ilya. That would be yes. sick. I think so. I I I, I do think so. Yeah. But th that's the problem if with UFC style makes fights, right? Yeah, yeah. So first he need to to beat some wrestlers, right? Some kickboxers, yeah. some people that are not good for his game. Yeah. But I think that would be a very fun fight. But yeah. I think it's going to be quicker than people think. I was talking to his manager yesterday. I just I just got your Twitter. And, this and guy, I, and I this guy's working on something. You know, he, what, wants you know what? <laughs> he wants money. <what? laughs> he wants to be managing my brother. You I'm are. Going to you be. can I'm tell. Going to Look be. at that. You, you know, be. you can tell. But I, I I got your your Twitter and I sent for his manager WhatsApp and I sent to Jean to then Jean. You sent my Twitter? Yeah, yeah, I sent to both. Oh, let's go. And then he said, oh, nice, nice. Uh, and then he didn't want to say much. I said, oh, his next fight is going to be a big jump. And then I say he's fighting a regular opponent, and he just sent me the smile. So uh, he's fighting same for sure. He's fighting. You have someone. any guesses of who it might be? I don't know. I tried to ask, but he just yeah. he kept sending the smile. It's at forty five though, right? Yeah, forty five. Yeah. So <laughs> him but, at forty five is is crazy. Bro. You know, he's he's a saying, that guy is a monster. But yeah, the thing that so <clears throat> so what do you think? So Puri is gonna fight Volk next, right? And he probably I don't gonna think that fight Volk. should take I place. don't. I don't think they. They I don't already think they said. Should do that. I know, but I think they will. Yeah, yeah. After Topuria, after uh, Topuria goes out there in freaking Spain, yeah, beat Volk. What are you gonna do after that? Yeah, you gonna wait for Diego? Diego gonna, never yeah. have, I think we we'll, go, we'll go up, right? The only thing that might don't saying. go up, that's but you, the only option might don't go up if our man beats Island. Then gotta be a trilogy. Yeah, and then. To put, gotta do but if Islam fight. beats Armand, it's like what's really there for Islam now? Who's he fighting at fifty five? No, he got. And he's move. not fighting Belal too, so he's not. But then Belal is fighting Shavka. I have December. an honest question for you guys. And, and, yeah, if if Belal and Topuria fought at like a catch weight, <laughs> like I don't know who would win that fight. Get my hundred kilo to put him. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> no, bro? I don't know, man. Belal, of course, could out grapple yeah, for me. Sure. Yeah, out grapple. Yeah. That guy's a good takedown defense. But how Belal's no, no. gonna box against him? No, Belal's not gonna box, but I think Belal's gonna move a lot, dude. But bro, the so one thing that people have to talk about, Belal finds ways to, ways to win, bro. Yeah. Do you yeah, think yeah, Ilya yeah, could be a triple good, champ? Yeah. The like Ilya? 45 
Ilya, 45, no. 55, I don't think 70. He, I don't think he beats I don't think you, but I, I think he'll wrestle on I the 55. Think, but I think he'll try. That's why I want Poatan to try first. <coughs> but I think he he might try. Yeah. If he does get the 55, he's he going to he he, try. What I'm saying? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not saying he will. I said he's going to try. Yeah. Imagine him fighting Shakivat. Shakivat. <laughs> He's here. He's Can you here. say that one more time, bro? I, I couldn't he, hear you. I, Shaki Vach. I saw him at the gym yesterday. He's here. Brother. Are you What's saying it? imagine Ilya fighting him? Imagine Ilya like, yeah, fights Shaki Vach. It's a big size difference. Yeah, yeah, because you're saying going to the triple belt, right? <coughs> right, right. No, it, it's, too, it's too... It's too... Who you think is going to be? Shavka or, or Bilal? I got Bilal. Br brother, if Bilal is underdog, I would throw some money on him. You can't. I know. I'm, I, I'm saying... <laughs> Connor if Connor. I could, yeah. Just, oh, just go would... through McGregor, bro. I'll put it in for you. Yeah, how crazy how, is that? Why how, he can... How come McGregor can? Yeah, right? how he's come? the boss. Because right? yeah. he's a double champ, bro. He does yeah. what he wants. He does whatever he wants. <laughs> yeah. you no, know nah, I think it's more of a promo thing, truthfully. And it's like steak... Or what, what app is it that he's bets with? Uh, but I forgot the name. Steak? Is no, no, it's not steak. No, it's his thing. It's like, he's a... He's a... I forget, but it's like a promo thing. So who the hell knows? Oh, promo Plus, she, No, no, it's like a Let's promotion. There's like a promotion. So Casino betting. Yeah, who knows? So, all right, well, let's move on here. I got one last question I have to ask you guys. I want your first answer in, in two seconds. Don't even think about it. Just give me the answer. Fighter of the year, Taporier, Taporier or Poetan? I cannot go like that. <laughs> no. Go Taporier or Poetan? Go. Say that again. Fighter of the year, Taporia, Poetan. What's your answer? That's a hard question, dude. <sighs> People are gonna be mad because I'm not choosing Poatan. I'm Topuria. If people go to you buy it if you get Poatan, right? Yeah. Yeah, Topuria. You got Topuria? I got Topuria, bro. As of right now, I got Poatan just because it was back to back to back. Like, two risks. Man, Topuria knock out two of the greatest featherweights of the. That's crazy. It's not like he beat. Kalyu oh. Trio is not on the same level. <laughs> Look at this. Guy. Would you rather have the level of disrespect? No, Kalyu Huntri is on the Kalyu Huntri. They Hunt show up for so hard. No, he, Look at that. Look he at did that. good. Kalyu, when you saw this guy on he's right the there. fight, he's right there. He, hey, you know what happened? I never, I'm hanging out so much with Moikano. You know what happened? I went to the gym to train yesterday. You know who was there? <laughs> you know who was there? Yeah. I we were talking to Johnny <laughs> Abla, and then when we got see, and then we, we were doing the easy money and also easy, and we said Imavov, and Johnny Abla said not so easy. Me and my cut easy money. <laughs> I, got, I got at the gym yesterday. <laughs> and Imavov said Imavov was there. Did he say something? He, he said, and I trained. I trained before. <laughs> he trained after, and then he came me. He don't speak he's zero English. Yeah, yeah. He came with a translator. And, and he was talking, I already knew he's gonna ask him to start laughing. <laughs> and then, but he was laughing. He was not yeah, like. Yeah. Imavov's not easy money, though. Easy for money? Jordan, no. For you think? No, no. No, no, no. Not easy money to anyone, but. You just think no, bro, it's, it's just a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. So, yeah. joke, Imavov, <laughs> he's a very easy. Yeah, brother. We in Florida. <laughs> Don't, don't try to assault me, my bro. They are going to exercise <laughs> the <laughs> second amendment, my bro. I'm going to exercise my second amendment to defend myself in private property, my bro. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> the first and the second amendment. Khalil Roundtree, when you see Moikano asking. Remember, we're in Florida, my bro. No, no, when you see him at the fight. <laughs> no, but, but, but to be honest, yeah. like you say, Khalil Roundtree... A great uh, fighter, but he's not yeah. on the same level of two former champions. Yeah. It, yeah. Was he a champion? You're right. You know, you're right. Even, right. even, even no, Pro really Rasa, how, was he a champion? Yeah, really he was. Yeah, he yeah, he even was. the way Topuria said, Topuria said, hey, I just knocked out Max Holloway. Why you give me only 50 grand of bonus? Yeah. Like, only what do you 50K? think about that, bro? And when he said that, I was just like, wow. Motherfucker no, no, no. has a $2 million gene at his home. He no, doesn't no, need the 50 I know. Yeah. It's a talk, but. It does make sense, right? He freaking knocked out yeah. Max yeah. Holloway. Yeah. And just going to give him 50K that the guy that fought in the Apex yeah. Yeah. got 50K. And then they give out 300 at USC 300. Yeah. You know? Crazy, right? And and he, they, deserved, he deserved a six-figure no, bonus for that. 300 K sure. to Max when Max beat Jesse. And he went right, there, right. beat Max and got 50. Like. He did deserve it. I think he does deserve how much, a 6 How figure. much you think he deserves as a bonus? Like like a quarter mil? Yeah. 250? Yeah. 
Hey, but you gotta act like that on a pot. You, how much we 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 deserve to be here on the pot? <laughs> with your bets, with your bets, nothing, my brother. You've been losing too. Oh, I got a poor year. Ah, only that. No, yeah, I got inside information. We gotta start recapping our. I picks, got so Kyle. many guys right, we gotta bro. Show the the yeah, the picks. I just I pick wrong on Rakic because Rakic was. <laughs> so I had no my I had Magomed on Kalayev too. I had Taporia. I had I had. Uh, Holloway. I, I messed I had, up. No, no, I had Saporia and I had Hamza. Hamza. Hold on, let's go through. Let's go down the card real quick, and then we'll move on. I have the two best picks of the whole year. I say there is no way Max Holland got knocked out, and there is no way <laughs> Robert Whitek gonna finish, but get finished. <laughs> <laughs> and then happens. Who do you guys pick, Murphy or Ige? Ah, oh, Murphy. Leon Murphy, of course. Murphy. Right. And yeah. then that was uh, an easy one. And I like Iggy a lot because I I do Iggy, too, Iggy works at dominance with Ali. Sometimes I gotta. Yeah, do but I think he did man. better than I thought. He, he did, did very way good. Better. He did way better. Did a lot good. of management. He was very stuff. close to around one stoppage. Very close. A lot of my management stuff, I sent it to Dan, yeah. and he's a very nice guy. But I like bro, the it. Jeff Neal RDA fight was sad though. Like, yeah. Uh, so yeah. that was I the second leg that too. That was the second. I thought Jeff Neal was gonna TKO him, even if he didn't get injured though. It was first round injury, but, but you, you thought first, second round. I, I thought, yeah, I thought it would have been an accumulation. I don't think RDA, I think that was a bad matchup for RDA. Man, right? let, let, me me let me tell you something. You and, know this guy? And, yeah. You were talking about how him of doesn't speak in English and he will, he, and he watched the podcast. Yeah. This other guy, Mateus Hebeck, he's from American Top Team, but he doesn't speak English. Yeah. And he's Polish, right? Yeah. So I say, okay, I'm going to talk some shit about him on my Portuguese <laughs> channel because nobody's going to know, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, then. I don't know what a lot of fucking Polish people. Hey, you see that you thought he's gonna lose and this and that. And I say, how yeah. these guys they know that? Same thing. Maybe it's I, the translation, right? I, I, the, learned, yeah. I learned that with Moicano. I say on oh, my Portuguese channel, I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> and I go there, and these guys. Everybody out, knows they follow them. Oh, you come is, after me. You just gotta filter it to into the language. You just no. click English. It, trans oh, yeah? it translates it. Yeah. Yeah, it translates. They we were, just saw bro, that they were killing me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, shout out to him though because he beat the brakes off of Oral by. That bro. was a great fight. I yeah. lost money on that fight. That was a nice fight. I lost some money on that. Yeah, some but that was a that nice fight. fight. So I that raised the fight. question: that Is the the Oral by the monster that people are picturing? People are talking oh, about. I still him. think he's very good. He's still very good. Yeah, that top guy, five, top ten material. Maybe not uh, top five. That division top is so seven, tough. Eight. Yeah, top top. Top 20, 25 for sure, yeah. but not 15. That, yeah, I hard. couldn't believe. He's, but he's good. I like him. Yeah. He don't quit. That I was. And then what close. about uh, Chu? <laughs> Abu Smaga. But he was his Chu scene, right? Hey, because know, the, but, the referee hey, but it, they, say they, they say Chu. They yeah. like I'm not a doctor because if I'm a doctor, boy, how many things got here? <laughs> Who was the and then do like this? <laughs> one of the you guys hey, see one of the commentators? I'm going to be playing. I forget which commentator what is he's like? Yeah, you got to always guess too. In that yeah, scenario. yeah. Always, it's it's DC hilarious. always guess too. Yeah. DC yeah. always that crazy stuff. You guys saw Abu Smagomedov. I thought that was a, a pretty good performance against Bruno Ferreira. Round three finish. You see that fight? I was surprised. I had picked Bruno yeah. Ferreira too. Me too, because I thought Abu's going to guess. Yeah, yeah. Abu's kind of guess. But Bruno gets too, so yeah. And uh, but what do you think about that first fight of the night, Renati and, and, and Carlos Rob Leal? Blind, bro. I don't think it was a robbery. Oh my god, it was no, that beyond. Was a, that dude, was. he closed I, as a minus twenty one hundred favorite, and he you lost. Know what? I gotta rewatch it. That means ve the Vegas, the odds makers had him as a, a minus two thousand. You would have to put if you put right when the fight ended. If you put two thousand dollars on Carlos, he got taken down every round. Even the third. You know what? You know what's crazy? Even the third. Bro, but he did a damage. very good job. You know what's damage crazy? over takedowns. He, he, his fight win streak is getting big. I but I think it was 2-1. Remember his last fight against Zaleski? That was very... I thought Zaleski won. He yeah. split the seat. No, they gave that a draw. That was a close fight. There was a draw, right? It was a draw, yeah. There was a draw. But I think Zaleski won. Right. And this fight, you know what the crazy, crazy, crazy thing about that? Yeah. Yesterday, we were doing the Brazilian podcast with Pahompa. Pahompa is one of his head coach. And Pahumba said, I thought he lost. Of course. You know, he like how lost. crazy it is. So I got to really watch this fight. I couldn't definitely watch lost, it. But bro. Ev when I opened no, the Twitter. I don't think it was a robbery. It was a but, close fight. So I, verdict had it 30-27 for, for Leo. And uh, a, a judge gave Renat 30-27. That's oh, wow. impossible yeah. that he won all three yeah. rounds. And I, impossible. I was, was that Sao D'Amato? No, it was a judge <laughs> with the last name like Ali. No, no, Abdelaziz. Abdelaziz. Last name Abdelaziz. Bro, it was a guy with a yeah. No, I don't know who. Some corruption going on. One hundred percent. Let's call Ali. But so. hey, 
uh, I was doing the seminar at Cyborg. I yeah. couldn't watch, so I right after the seminar was hey, done. Hey, Cyborg is still doing the seminar from Bra for Brazil? Yeah, still for bad. the still For the water, bad. but he, that, that was... He had all the cameras, he gets show all, all the video. Yeah. Everybody lost. Is so, he still? Is he still bad over there? Super bad. Every so many people lost the house, lost cars, lost animals. Everything lost. Lost the couple kids. Lost the parents. They still broke. Like and then, really? uh, Mino Nogueira, big knock. He just he just getting like forward, stepping forward with the with the with the project in there. Now they were able to give to give Money? away hundred houses. Oh, nice. So those houses that you put it there, but still we need like so many more. So we did that. People was donating money. Everything that they can donate is a, is a, is a, how you call the, 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 the code. Uh, you, you go on the code. How you call that? Fala português. O códigozinho, código, código de barra, vamos falar? Ah, the scan code. They, they could scan the code the and then donate the QR, QR code, code, code yeah, yeah, and yeah. donate the money. So we did that. Then when the seminar was over, I went to the Twitter, bro. They were killing Rina. There's no way that guy uh, win, but everybody, not not just the haters, everybody bro, like I had, robbery. I had three grand on Rina, and I literally almost ripped my ticket up. I was like, he lost. I went, and then when the judges, you know how they read off the scorecards one at a time, like 30, 27, and they read that off the next two. I was like, all right, he definitely lost. And then he he raised his hand. I was like, this is unbelievable. When you celebrate those three grands, right? I mean, how I'm, much you made it? He made a hundred. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. You think he cares about TK? <laughs> how much? Dude, you this was the, the first fight of the night. I hadn't how made a hundred yet. How much you pay the judge Ali Bedelaz in the front there? <laughs> Bro, I'm not even mad that you. You know why? Well, Because I thought you never would get a, a, a parlay like no, that. No, I'm very happy. Let me explain you. something to you, bro. I would bet my entire life that I, before I die, I will win at least a seven-figure parlay for like a million, million dollars. Or more. I would bet anything. Yeah, my right. million. You're gonna do that. Oh, 100 Do you think? 100 And then when bro. you do, do you on a bet? And then when you do, how much? You retire. 100,000, bro. So, but the problem is you, how that works. It doesn't work well for you because yeah. I have unlimited when time. I have to wait. You, you, you have to get that to, to shoot, get right? paid. <laughs> yeah. And when you do, you retire. Then you're done. No, bro. So I let's just, say, let's say I we bet retire, and somebody bro. kills you. Somebody has to kill, pay me <laughs> 100,000, right? Yeah, you'll put you in my will for 100, bro. No, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I don't want to chew that. No, nah, but I'm telling you, I'll eventually. It's just another. Think of it this way: I bet twenty two hundred to win a hundred thousand. Okay, I had uh, no, Nardi on by decision. I had Jeff Neal by TKO. Hamza by sub. Oh, that was your parlay. That's it. Three legs, right? If I bet, people pay. No, to listen, get listen, listen, advice? listen. No, I, I give my picks out for free. But I bet twenty two hundred to win a hundred thousand. If I bet twenty two thousand, it pays a million. A lot of people pay. Yeah, hey, but you're not gonna no? bet you. That much I will eventually. The, yes, I will. But hey, a lot now. of people tell you on that or no? I give it for free. No, but people tell you, they say, bro, oh, I'm going yes. to yes. Haif, right? A he lot got of people got very wealthy. Not wealthy, but you know what I mean? <laughs> for a gambler, they, they made they made a bag on that. Yeah. A lot of people, bro. I, I'm not going to say who. So why I, you I, are so I, gotta, what kind of, I already told him what kind of this. I got to tell Gilbert. I'm not going to name names. But there are USC fighters that tell my part like inside information. Send me the ticket in my DMs. I can't ever say who it is because they're so happy. They like they bet on the USC. They're USC fighters and they bet my exact part line and they you, won money. Man, you know how crazy you have to be to be a UFC fighting fighter in <laughs> bet with this guy. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bro, they trust hey, me. You, <laughs> That's I'm, the I'm, problem. You you did good this weekend, but bro, what about the other ones? No, no, and I'm I'm happy for him. You know, I'm happy that bro, he you realize money, I had a 45k. Parlay in USC earlier this 38K. year. 38K. That was bro. another one. Yeah. No, I, on, on, on UFC hey, 300. Hey. Yeah. No, no, not 300. Let, let, hey. On 300, you made money. Yeah, but not that much. Hey, let me tell I you made, something, yeah, bro. I I was happy for you. Thanks, But bro. on the other hand, I wasn't too because when this guy won, when he made that promo video with so much <laughs> money running to the thing, I just think a lot of people, wow, that guy made a hundred thousand out of what, two grants? Wow, bro. So many people's going to be broke after that. Nah. So that's the only thing. I'm like, no, no, no. Not pay you. Not, not, not your fault. People are going to start gambling. They're going to get hyped up? Yeah. Wow. Let me explain something. People actually DM me and they're like, hey, I've never bet before. The first thing I say to them is don't start. I swear to God, I literally tell people, but don't gamble. if you really want, yeah, <laughs> nah, what but don't you bet, but if you use my code, bro, yeah. use my code. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> don't insult, but if you want, like, he's my code. This is going to be my friend. Okay, never bet, but if you do, use betting code. <laughs> Many <laughs> bets, lose your fucking money. Many bets, 100. <laughs> and I'm going to give you every week <laughs> UFC, BFL, <laughs> NFL, any, anything that you want, but please don't insult. But if you want, let me know. Hit this, me up, he's my number. This is the true heart of business, my brother, the betting business. Bro, oh. and then, hey, I'll I was, tell you guys something right now. You better thank fucking gambling because you guys would make half the amount of money you make today if it wasn't for gambling. Who do you think pays the USC? DraftKings. Who do you think? Why do USC so hey. popular? Why do you think the USC is so popular? It's because guys like me bet on it, bro. You guys would make a fraction of the money you make today if it wasn't for gambling. I, Tell me I I'm believe wrong. so. That's the market. Hey. I believe so. <laughs> I gotta respect this freaking guy. It makes sense. I believe but, so. But when but you, you know, die, you have to. <laughs> when you die, you have to explain this to God. Yeah. For real, bro? God's gonna talk to you, you about no, that. No, I have a serious question. You think it's a sin? No, no. Okay. No. I'm, I'm genuinely so. asking. Some no, no. people do. No, I don't think it's a sin. Yeah. I think you have free will. You should do whatever you want, but you have to act, to hold hold accountable. Take, yeah. Yeah. Se guess consequences. Yeah, you're gonna have consequences. You're gonna have yeah. consequences. So if you want to bet your 100k and you lose, it's your fucking fault. Yeah, that I agree with. That's that. That's my yeah, whole that thing. That I agree with. But like, I'm genuinely curious if some, some people think like betting on a sport is is like sinful or not. You know, I don't think it is. What do you think? Government <laughs> <laughs> don't answer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in the Bible, right? It's in the this Bible? is like is in is in the Bible, but it's uh, like I'm looking it up. It's like it's like drinking, right? Yeah, depends on how much you drink and what you do. Yeah, the Bible. Don't we say, were talking we about don't that. say much about drinking, but they say drunk. So gambling drunk, is not yeah. a sin in the Bible. the The love of money. The Bible warns against the love of money and get rich quick schemes. Yeah, gambling can lead to a destructive so, love of money, even for small amounts. You get two k, you got a hundred k. That's however, fucking get the rich Bible scheme. does not explicitly explicitly prohibit gambling, is what it says. It does not consider See, but gambling. Say the a beginning sin. again. Read the beginning again. The Same Bible warns read. against the love of money, but think about it: the love of money and get and you. I could argue that hey. You fighting for a million dollars is a love of money, right? How's that? Yes, diff how's it, it different? Is. You're literally beating the shit out of yeah. somebody to make a million dollars. Yes. Is that a sin? Yeah. <laughs> is yeah, that a I sin, mean, Gilbert? You know why that's not a sin? Because I gotta know that that is a contract, right? You willing to fight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not like I, I'm beating I, you and you don't know. No, I'm not. Believe me, I don't think it is. I agree with that it's, it's it's you guys are doing it for entertainment and two legal adults are consenting yes. to get their asses beat. Yeah. So I'm just saying anything can be looked at as of being course. the wrong way. You but know? I, yeah. I think love money when these guys do everything for the money. Yeah. Like no, Q. Yeah, Q or, or even sell the soul. Like a yeah, yeah. couple of things I don't like it to do. Like me personally, yeah. I don't like betting. It's not that no, I know. what I believe I know you, you have don't. to believe. No, and I respect you. You do yeah, your yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't mind. But me, I don't like it. I, I get it. But I don't judge. Man, I'm making fun of you. You're making a lot of money, so you don't care. But the love of money, when the guy does everything for the money, like yeah. everything, like <laughs> out of values. Like. Right. But the thing is with me is I do because I just like you guys fight because you enjoy it. I do, you know, no, it's funny. Just, just, hold on. No, no, no. It's funny. The guy's talking about love of money <laughs> with a pile of cash on his fucking lap. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about <laughs> love of money <laughs> and the whole podcast. <laughs> All I'm saying, bro, is I actually enjoy doing this. Like, if I wanted to do it, like, there's way better ways to make money than gambling. Are you kidding? You can oh, you don't scam have people. Is you fun. Can, like, oh, you don't it's have fun. It's fun. That adrenaline pump when you hit the <laughs> parlay or stuff. Like, yeah, I do it because I. What uh, What I'm more <laughs> concerned about is not these. Yeah. You guys do whatever you want. You all you got your adults. You do whatever you want. Yeah. But I just don't like the way we influence people to do that, you know, because there's a lot of dumbs out there. They're going to they're gonna start a little bit. They're going to start. They start very small. Oh, I'm just going to bet that little 200 yeah. here. But eventually, you know, they, these guys go crazy for the adrenaline dump yeah. to go to the freaking casino and stuff. So I don't, that's why I'm not. It's sports. Esports, if guy, oh, I think Moicano's gonna win. I'm gonna put money on Moicano. How much? I'm just gonna put a hundred when the guys be yeah. like that is more control, is no problem. But 
you know those guys get degenerated, they get crazy, they go to the casino, they're gonna how you say when they they go after the the loss they they chase, chase, chase when they loss, start chasing yeah. no, I oh I lost and they gotta put money I gotta go to the casino and then he gets out of control you know right. that's why I don't like it. No, I understand. Believe me, bro. I I I live and breathe in this industry. I see all the bullshit that goes on in it. I see people scamming people. I see people selling picks, guaranteed winners. There are people in this space that sell people a pick. That is like a minus 500 pick and they'll sell it for like a thousand dollars to some idiot that pays for it. I don't sell anybody picks. I swear to God, I actually tell people not to gamble. If they say they've never gambled before, I'm like, you don't want to start doing it. I was like, I grew up doing this shit. It's literally in my blood. It's it's just my truth. It's my actual truth. But you have, and I you tell have people all the time. My it. mom is literally, but my mom's side Italian Catholic, my dad's side Russian Jewish. By both sides of my family grew up casino sports betting. Like I'm from Pennsylvania. That's what when, we did. When you're gonna stop the course of your family? I'm not. I'm not going to, bro. The new generation. Not, of it's not family. happening. I, I'm already too. This your is son, what I do, bro. Your son? You said no. My you son, yeah. your son? You're going to start to bet at four, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I started. No, I was like eight, bro. I was like no, eight. but but how how he going to stop? He just made 100K. I never no, thought he would he make that stop. much money off a of no. bet than he did. No, he made, he made, you made more than that, right? That was the first time. On Blackjack, not on sports. That was the biggest parlay I've hit. Biggest oh, parlay. Biggest Blackjack, I've hit Say more Say that than again. That. There was Jeff Neal, Hamza, who? It was Jeff Neal, Hamza, and uh, uh, Nardiov versus uh, Bruno Silva. But it so was exact you outcome. Saw, you saw what it, happened to Bruno Silva? It wasn't money lines, yeah. He, he, they, he's dealing with some like not panic, depression, but like some panic like, attack. Yeah, yeah, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, but panic attack. Uh, the but, reason I took Nardi like panic attack. Yeah, uh, it's some anxiety, 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 anxiety. Yeah, anxiety, depression. Yeah. The reason uh, I took Nardi up by decision in that fight is panic, 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 panic attack. Panic yeah. attack. Yeah. But let me ask you something. Yeah. What were what were your thought process on doing this parlay, and how confident you were on that? I mean, I'm no more confident than any parlay. Like I bet a few parlays, only one hit. You know. Now the the lucky thing about me is the video I put out is the parlay. Like it was literally. Yeah, you put that before. It, Sorry. That's why I went so viral. It's at like two, three million still, views. You still gonna? I still gonna give you the low kick. You still gonna give me a low <laughs> kick? Yeah, I'm gonna give you a low kick, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. No, now, I just think, now, 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 right one and now, one and now, <laughs> like Vandele right Silva, one and now, Vandele right Silva, one and now, 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 I cannot get you like close, I can't get you get that close, one and now, one and now, that thing was so funny, all right, we're so sidetracked right now, all right, We're going to transition into the USC Edmonton card. Edmonton. If you guys want to. How do you say that place in Moicano? Edmonton. Oh. USC Edmonton. If you guys want to, if you guys want to get some action on the fights this weekend, go check out the link in the description. Check out Fliff. You can, uh, is a sweepstakes sports book in the US. Use, Use my code, code show me S H O W M E or the link in the description show me. and you get some free coin, uh, to get some action with this weekend. Let's start right at the let's go to the bottom. Let's let's go to the prelims here. We got to talk about our boy Pedro Munoz. Oh, Pedro is uh, Pe- his favorite. Pedro, Pedro Munoz yeah. versus Ariel Hawani. <laughs> <laughs> He's no way I got to go with, I got to go with, I, I'm already biased because hey, are you fucking comedian, my <laughs> brother? What you doing? We are already biased, right? Because he's <laughs> with Pedro I like Pedro Man, a lot. This guy, this guy looks like just like fucking Ariel Hawani. Fighting freaky Ariel Hawani. Hey, we gotta go with Pedro Munoz. <laughs> no one is going with Pedro. But you saw, his, and on, on a serious note, you saw Zahabi's last win. It was a good win. Click on him. He won more knockout, I think. Um, Bashara. 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 Bashara is tough, know, it was man. It's a unanimous decision. Bashara is yeah. tough. And this fight before, I mean, These are solid and he's wins, old. bro. This guy is old. These are for, solid for wins. He's five. underrated, I think. Solid wins, yeah. No, bro. You, Now, the odds. Let's look at the odds here. No. no I'm Pedro, going Pedro. Uh, Pedro, going Pedro back. Munoz. Pedro for a lot of tougher competition. I got to go with Pedro, especially Caio. Caio, go over there do his content. Come on, Caio. Who you got on this one? Pedro for Pedro, sure. Bro. Yeah, I love Pedro Munoz. And, and, and yesterday, too, I was doing the part with, with Pahumpa. Yeah. And Pahumpa said that When Pedro Munoz had his win streak, he was training Pahumpa. Then he exchanged his head coach. He I don't know who was his head coach. <coughs> and now he's back 
with Pahon again, and he's looking very good, yeah. hungry to get that win, you know. I know that feeling when you get a couple of loss back to back, bro. You need it's, it's not about belt anything, money is about to get the win. It's about know? just getting some momentum. Yeah, back, you, know? you need to get a win. So yeah. and uh, I like this guy. This guy actually very good, very smart. I like Zahabi. Uh, Zahabi. Yeah. Ariahu Zahabi. But yeah. uh I gotta go with my guy. So Pedro. Zahabi's a minus 120 favorite. Pedro is a minus 105 underdog here. Yes. I'll be down to put Pedro on the parlay. Yes. 100%. Yeah. I mean, let's think about it. Pedro was looking really good in that Sean O'Malley fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Until, I mean, he, until the eye poke, right? Yeah. And the eye poke was over. It was actually saw his eyes on the, last, on the next day. Yeah. So Pedro's last few fights, he's fought really... I mean, Kyler Phillips is very high level. Very high level. Um, Cheeto he Vero... He looked good, huh? <coughs> Kyle Phillips on the last fight, he lost to Robbie Font. But it was not the same Kyle Phillips that, that yeah. show up against Pedro Munoz. Right? Kyler Phillips just had too much volume for Pedro. Kyler lands uh, 5.3 strikes per minute for Kyler. Or that's, that's Pedro. You remember huh? that fight? Kyle Phillips against Robbie Fong. He didn't show up the way the way he showed up against Pedro and the other guys, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kyler Phillips. Man, I was impressed. Last fight, Kyle Phillips, he didn't fight very, he didn't very look well. Good. Yeah. I was excited and to see him. He was very good. Me too. Good. He's very, very good, but he didn't show up against Robbie Fong. Yeah. I don't know the best fight of the card, but <laughs> I know the worst. All right, you down to put Pedro in the in the parlay, bro? Yes, yes. All right, Pedro. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. All right, leg one, Pedro Munoz. Let's go up the card here. Let's go back. Um, Let's go to the main card. <laughs> Mike Malott versus Trevin Giles. What do you guys think hey, of this fight? Hey, that's a good fight. Who that's easy, easy, easy money. Who, easy who? money for Mike? Malach. Mike Malach. So he's coming off of the third round TKO loss to Neil Magny where he gassed out. One? Yeah. You had money on him or oh, Neil yeah. Magny? Yeah. Didn't you pick Magny? Bro, he think, was he was beating the crap of I, I, I picked Magny. Magny. I, I picked Magny. Magny too. You guys were spot on. That was crazy comeback for Neil Magny. Because, bro... He beat the crapper. That was day eight. If I'm yeah. not if I'm not wrong, he beat the crapper New Magnum, but yeah. third round he got so And remember, bad. Trevin Giles is coming off that beat down from Carlos Prates. Oh, yeah. So yes. he's you know how long ago? That was February. It's not that yeah, long. Yeah, but it was oh, but it was Carlos hard. Prates. I, 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 I can't yeah. wait to see him. Yo, so he's supposed to fight. When? Oh, he's supposed to fight. Next week. He's supposed to fight. He's fighting next week, main event. But main he event. had a fight. With New Magni. But he had a fight with Randy Brown at the at the yeah. MSG, but they, I I talked to him on, on the channel, and then he said, "Bro, they called me, Randy Brown, and I said, let's do it." He said, "Bro, I was kind of drinking a little bit. It was like five weeks." I said, "Oh my god, okay, let's do it." And then they called me, and they said, "Bro, we it's, it's so funny the way he said." They called me, and then he said, "My my coach was on the on the speaker," and they say, "Oh, bro, we had a problem with Randy Brown. I don't think it's gonna work. You gotta fight one week before." And then he was like that. No, no, no. And the guy, but he's a main event. And then he was like, yeah, new Maggie. And then he like, yeah. he said it was the first wow. time, Maddie, that he was just like, no, at one second. And maybe on the other second. And then when they said new Maggie, he said, like, yeah. That's hilarious. He was so happy. I mean, dude, Carlos Prates, four, four fights in the USC, four knockouts. Four finishes. All yeah. before round two or all four, in round two or before. I think three and one. Then I could miss you. That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that's impressive, though. That's impressive. 50, so hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. All right. We're getting a little sidetracked, but the point is, he just beat down Trevin Giles. Are we down around Mike Malat here in the parlay? Or is it a little, not losing. It I'm might down. be a little chalky, though. Mike Malat. Mike Malat. Let's is, see the the, all the the whole fights. Let me. Check he's the minus two sixty five. Mike Malat. That's not that bad. Let's move up the card, though. We'll Man, decide. Derek Lewis as a, a underdog. We'll come back. Um, I got to talk about this fight. Romanov, I'm biased. Nascimento, I know it's a close, fu- close fight. I'm biased on Mark Andre Barrio, but do training for him, right? I train him. How dude, how good is the other is guy? There? The other guy is the I worst. I like, dude. I like, I like oh, the power. Mark Andre. One thing that I gotta tell you, <coughs> this guy works so hard. I Crazy like him harder. a lot. Not too technical, but so much <coughs> hard. If the guy is not, if the guy is not superior. Way more technical than he, he's winning because he's gonna keep you going thing. forward, bro. He don't care. I think Dustin has one round to put him away, or Mark is gonna bury him, bro. When you look at Mark Andre Barrio, like he's only losing to elite guys, elite all the strike. tough guys. He all, lost to all, Fluffy. He lost to Joe Pfeiffer. You know, Curtis was a close decision. 
Split decision, no, yeah. All the guys that I saw, so he beat everybody. But yeah, when the guy's I mean, very, way more technical, he has trouble. dude's good, man. I, I think good. he's going to bury him late. What's the I think so, that? too, but hey. He's minus 200. It's not very good, no, but he's a king, bro. You vai bat in the first round, you're going to be three rounds with him. You spank in the first, you spank in the second, in the final of the second. You're going to be a king, bro. 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 You're So the Dustin Stolfus has been put away by Bruno Ferreira, put away by Abu Smagomedov, put so away by GM3, Vieira, put away Vieira. by Vieira. He gets put away a lot. Oh, I like beat Soriano, right? He Yeah, but he lost to Mursha. How was that? GM3, round three, yeah. Mursha. Oh, yeah. I'm going Mark Andre Barrio. I go Mark Andre. Yeah. Yeah. I like nice that for guy. the parlay. Let's run. Nice it. guy, too. Let's run in the parlay. You then? All right, we're in. Let's move out the card. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm yeah. going Thursday to Ed Monkey. Oh, nice. All right. Uh, oh, nice. Which fuck you? Which fuck you? <laughs> I just gave up my money here. Oh, he said, he said, oh, nice. Oh, oh nice. Easy. Fuck you. <laughs> What? What's up, Kyle Betts? <laughs> All right. Let's move off the card, bro. Let's go. <laughs> what, what about this Kyle Machado fight? You want to talk on this one or not? It's a, uh, no, I don't whoever, know. Sl- whoever Ch- lose, Ch- then Ch- I get fired. <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> All right, let's move up. Derek Lewis versus Denise. Denise had a nice knockout against Austin Lane. High-level kickboxing. Jonathan Denise ever lost by knockout or no? Uh, no, uh, he's undefeated in MMA. He, how, yes, eight, no. He he beat Carl Williams. He beat but, Austin Lane. Beat, but these guys doesn't hit as high hard High-level kickboxing. High-level. They, they don't hit as hard as Derek Lewis. But you remember, Gilbert, you remember yeah. this was the fight where when he fought Carl Williams, remember how... Dana or the UFC was telling Carl Williams to not wrestle. That was that fight we were talking about in the pod. Remember? Yeah. So, so Denise was able to outstrike him 59 to 29. And Carl Williams only shot, only got takedowns late when he was about to get KO'd. Denise uh, can, he's, he's kind I of know. a sniper at heavyweight. I think he can I find Man, him. he's a v- high level strike. The only thing he's fighting the guy with the record of knockouts. Yeah. Freaking yeah. That's why the guy, that's why I think. It's a good do a side parlay with Derek Lewis. You and like Lewis? Yeah, n- not on the main one, but Derek Lewis and another underdog. Mm-hmm. I like Denise here. I think like Denise. Is, I don't I, mind. I don't I care. I think Lewis is a perch in the end. Very bro. dangerous. I, 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 every time that I pick against Derek Lewis. <coughs> I don't know, but since you make 100K, I think you can, you can run the show. How much is in there? Nah, bro. How much is in there? Uh, I think 50. I mean, how much you, know, you got? It's 10? Yeah, 10 was with Kyle. How much is in there? 50 or 50? 50, 50, I think. Do you know these guys are making this to fight, right? No, I'm sure. sure. 10K to fight some of these guys. Yeah. 10, 10 guy. plus 8, 10 plus 10. <laughs> Again, yeah. Go Fuck back, them. go back <laughs> on the prelims. Go back on the prelims. Go all the way down, all the way down. No, 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 no. Ah, Victor Rain, he is not losing to. You don't like his allow the first fight? Yes. Go down, go down to that fight, Kyle. Go down to this allow First fight. fight of the night. Zalao, Zalao, and, and, and the other guy is not losing to Jordan. So the first two fights, right? The... Uh, it's Jack Shore. Over, no, Jack Shore is good, That bro. one. You think Jack Shore beats Zalao? Zalao is not Zalao's losing. Zalao is yeah. winning that fight for sure. You don't think so? Yeah. Zalao is um, 100%, my brother. I'm just saying, Jack Shore is not a slouch, yeah. dude. He's only lost to good guys like, like Jonas and Brito. Um, let me see what the Zalao odds are. Went to huh? decision with, with Topuria. Yeah. And Topuria was taking him down because he was getting beat But on the feet. I, I think he messed up with the weight cut or something. He wasn't looking good at that fight. Oh, Zalao's minus 290, bro. I'm not laying yeah, that Yeah, too much. Go, go, yeah. go up yeah. a little bit. Let's go, go up a little bit. Yeah. Screw up a little bit. All right, here's what we're doing. Victor Henry, you want to put... Yes, Victor Dude, Victor Henry. Henry is even money. What am yes, I missing? Victor Henry. He's down, he's down. What yeah. am I missing on that? He's oh, not losing, going. bro. Keep going. Hey, Kyle Betts. No, up. Kyle Betts. Up, up, up. Stop. Yeah, right there. Charlie Joe. Dude, why right is Victor, Victor Henry the underdog? Charles Jordan no. just got beat by Jean Silva oh. and now he's going to 135. Wow, he felt that pressure for, for Jean Silva. Now yeah, Jean Silva down. not only. Why is Victor Henry the underdog? I don't like that fight for Charles Jordan. No, I, Victor I, Henry by decision. Victor Henry by decision is a very solid, good match. Man, you can guy, put your money is... on that. Charles, oh, just Jordan. take the money line. All right, you guys, I'm going to read it off what we have so far. 
Victor Henry money line. We're going with uh, Pedro Munoz. Pedro Munoz money line. Okay, that's two even money money lines roughly. Mike Malott or no? Mike Malott. <clears throat> Minus 265, Mike Malott. Uh, we'll skip the Nascimento fight. We'll skip the Derek Lewis fight. We'll skip the Machado fight. Mark Andre Barrio, let's throw him in. Minus 205. You yeah. with that? All right, and then let's go one more. We have one a couple more. options. Let's go up to the top of the card. Let's look at the main and the co-main. We got the original main event was Blanchfield versus uh, Thug Rose. It's now the co-main. I'll tell you what. We don't go on the goes, right? I, I think we should stay away here, but I think I'm a lot of just mean, you think. I'm telling you right now, Rose is the trendy underdog that everyone's going to bet this week, and I think Blanchfield's going to show a big improvement from her last fight. That's because a good bet. I'm telling you, I really do think... Minus 125. We can take... Blanchard. Just, just too hard to bet against freaking but, Rose. But this is at 125, though. And if you put that on decision, you're not gonna... You're not gonna miss. It's gonna be decision? 100%. Oh, you wanna put that... You don't think Blanchfield could sub her? No. No, 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 no. No way. No, no way. She's good. Decision, she's decision. No, I know, but, but I'm just so saying she's put, bigger. You can put... This one upon it by decision you want it? just decision, yeah. Blanchfield decision. I think it's this. No, even Blanchfield. Let's just skip this fight. Let's go to the main. We already got four legs in the party. We got in the main fight. I go out by as crazy. As I don't it, know it much sounds. about as crazy sounds. I go out by he's a good dog. I think Moreno's coming back. He was kind of burnt out. He had all those fights in a few years span. He's lost some decisions, <coughs> and he's, he's on that spot. that like, even if you win, if you keep winning. They're gonna do the fourth fight against Pantoja, or and he's too small to come up to Bantaway too. So I think he's on a very tough spot, you know. And yeah. Almir Bazi and, and the hunger is different. This guy being a champion, being there, done that, getting how old is Bernard Moreno? 48. But and then you got mm -hmm. Albazi that's coming up super hungry. Once they get that belt, he yeah. just like. What did you think about his last fight? Does he? Yes. Yeah, no way, brother. No way, right? This guy's fights since sixteen. Yeah, he's born in ninety three. Oh, he's just I'm like another Jose bro. Aldo from yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Thirty three, right? 30. Yeah. Another Jose Aldo, but another from Mexico. Aldo. That was at least yeah. thirty five. <laughs> Man, that's <r> I'm old, brother. <laughs> I'm <laughs> fucking old man. <laughs> Bro, Jose Aldo is 40, 41 at least. Yeah. At least. How no, come Brandon Moreno younger? is younger? How come Jose Aldo is younger than RDA? RDA is 40. RDA is 40, 40. <laughs> Gilbert is still thinking about that. <laughs> no, no, no. That still, was three weeks ago. Bro, but when I see Brandon Moreno 30, <laughs> no, but Brandon on, has a Brandon baby Moreno. face, bro. Brandon Moreno is actually 30. So many He's fights. Born in 93, bro. bro. I was born in 92. But put it put both photos. RDA 38. and Jose Aldo photo. You're going to see it's different, bro. I'll yeah. tell you one thing. It's hard to bet against Brandon Moreno, bro. Yeah, bro. yeah but I'm not Albazi. Albazi, Albazi right. you think he's going to be able to take him down like at will? I think he will take him down. And then Brandon Moreno is going to fight off his back. I think Albazi can win minutes and rounds doing that. Yeah, I think even if he cannot, he's going to do Mirab on the cage. Yeah. What was the guy? I just Albazi's performance against Kai Car France that what, was a robbery. What was the bro. guy that put him that beat Aldo? What's the guy Bautista? He's gonna do Bautista if he yeah. has to. I mean, Albazi's won now five fights in a row in the UFC. But Albazi lost to Kai Car France too, right? He got the nod, but it was a robbery. Yeah. He got outstruck ninety nine to forty three. Kai Car won that fight. You yeah. don't watch the the bend, the the flyway too much, right? I, and I think. It's disrespectful to put them on the main event. Really? No, I like these guys. No, I'm joking. I'm no. Joking. I like I like that division. Couple guys are very good. Tatsuro Taira. Yeah. Uh, Pantoja's yeah. fight. That was a good fight. Brendan was on Tatsuro Taira. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I like these guys. Pantoja. I like that the guy that Pantoja is fighting. I like that division a lot, to be honest. I, th I think we skip both these fights and just wrap our parlay out the way it is. What do you think? Or do you want to go Kyle, with me? Kyle is talking crap. Kyle, yeah, Kyle. Kyle Betts is... Kyle want to be Betts. funny, look. Let's focus on the, on the podcast. What do you think, right? fellas? What do you think? Main event. <laughs> if we get a unanimous... <laughs> He's dying over there. What's going on? Who's your channel? pick, bro? Moreno or Albazi? Albazi. 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 I'm down to ride as a dog pick if, we, if we're going to throw him in. Let's do it. All right. You guys ready for the parlay? Yeah. Albazi. All right. Here's the parlay, Kyle. Albazi. <laughs> we're going... We 
This I'll, is a five leg parlay. A hundred pays seventeen hundred dollars. Victor Henry money line, Pedro Munoz money line, Mike Malat money line, Mark Andre Barriot money line, and our only underdog of the lay. Or actually, it's not our only underdog lay, but the last leg of the lay is an underdog, Amir Abazi plus one twenty eight. A hundred's gonna pay around sixteen seventeen hundred bucks. We'll see you at the cash counter when it hits. Almi Al Zabi. Amir Al Bazi. Al Zabi. No, I, I think it's his time, though. I think, too. I think he's supposed to fight before, right? He, he was. I that mean, fight was scheduled a long time ago, but then he got injury, then knee surgery, whatever. Then yeah. he's back with that <laughs> fight, too. I think everybody is going to bet against him because all they're going to talk about is the fact that. Kai Car like France won that surgery. fight. Everyone's gonna say that, yeah. but it doesn't matter. Everyone's moved on. He's now trained and has gotten ready for this fight. Moreno's taking time off. I think from a physicality standpoint, they're on two different levels. Who? Yeah. If you look at Abazi, he's like shredded. Abazi has, he's a wrestler, right? So yeah, probably he's gonna be more ready. Yeah. Than Moreno. So yeah. what, what are we talking now? We're going Abazi. All right, that finishes the parlay. What so, else? Good. I have a question for Moikan. Yeah. So, thinking of Dustin Poirier might have a fight coming up. On, on, we, we hear that in the background a little bit. Justin Gage might have a fight coming up. But uh, Max Holloway might take a big time off, right? At least six six months. Who more kind of wants to see Max Holloway back at 155 against? Hey. Kyle Betts, put the rankings. 155 rankings, yeah. 155 rankings, it's my brother. It's tough, yeah, it's tough. And soon, fight news, my brothers. Soon, fight news? Fight news. Almost oh, sign it, sign it. No, Cannot I'm say waiting, it, but waiting, no waiting, sign waiting, it. Waiting, waiting. Yeah. Still I waiting? just can say that. If you waiting. know, type on the comments below and leave the like <laughs> so button, my brother. Moicano might have a fight coming up. So who you guys think is fighting next? Make sure you leave in the comment. Yeah, and, and just a big reminder. I think I know who uh, just, Max Holloway is going to hey, fight. Just, just a big reminder. I bought <laughs> five, six nice hats over here to, to give away to you guys. Ask Matty Betts <laughs> where the hats are. Ask him because you got to give away. I'm, I'm being right now, it's on. Whoever comment right here on this part right here who has the best comment the comments need to have more likes whoever talk crap about Matty Betts stealing the hats leave a comment here make sure everybody liking your comment he gonna send you my hat that I brought here hey wear let me ask hat. you something ask him we're gonna wear the hat what is first. the fucking hat my brother I don't even know bro everybody it's a free for all hey, in this place bro. six I, know, I wanna hats. answer your question about Holloway though here's my prediction after Michael Chandler, if Michael Chandler loses to Charles Oliveira, they're going to make Michael Chandler Max Holloway in like seven, eight months. That's my prediction. Chandler and Holloway? Yeah. At 55, mm. Chandler versus Holloway. That sounds... Mm, That's a good mm. matchup. But Mike, Michael Chandler, if he <laughs> loses, Chandler, he's going to be coming from a couple of losses. And then he's yeah, going to fight for In my opinion, BMF Chandler belt. should wait for the McGregor fight a little bit more. She, he should He already wait, right? He was yeah, but a little bit more. <laughs> what, what is a year, Gilby? What is a fucking year? <laughs> yeah, but he, 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 I think he got a good money to fight. Bro, what if uh, Michael Chandler Charles knocks Oliveira. out Charles Oliveira? No. You think that could happen? That can happen. That can, everything can happen. Those yeah. guys are going to start crazy. Max. Yeah, Chandler, look at the rankings right now. Chandler, Chandler, just have, Chandler just have one speed. Charles just have one speed. But. Go yeah. back to the question. Who you think Max Holloway is going to fight when he comes back, Moicano? I don't think that is option for him now because what we see is Sarukian is fighting for the belt. Charles is fighting Max. Max. Or, or Mike. I, maybe he could fight Dustin. Mike. He could fight Dustin. Dusty doesn't have a fight, you know? Dusty might have a fight. Just I think Gaethje is going to fight before fight. Max comes back. I think Gaethje is going to fight who could? March, 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 right? Yeah. They say. Yeah. Yeah. And... We have, but he fought nobody. Dustin twice away. The trilogy with Dustin, like, yeah, nobody. I There's just really think nobody, dude. I think Mateus you know, is going to fight a, a yeah, tough no, guy on no, Tampa, no, right? Yeah, he has to, yeah. But look, 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 look. Moicano might have a fight coming up. If Moicano go out there, be anyone on the top, man, Petty Pimlet is 14. What the, on the fuck top 14, if if Moicano beats anyone on top 14. 
he has to move forward, and then I like that. Bro, we didn't even talk I about the it. fact that you moved up to, look, up to the rankings, wait, 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 wait. bro. But I don't know what that means. 10 and 10, what that means? No, the one, level of disrespect, no, Kai, they don't this is the same. This, this is sentence. 11, the same thing. The level, unbelievable. Look at that, 10 oh, and 10. I see, I see. You're tied um, for Unbelievable. Now. Oh, and by the way, for the people see? that said you no can't. Respect. No, no, we got to address this. I got to move to the next part. What just happened? next part? I'm moving. We got to address what just happened this past weekend. People that said you fight a, a, a fighter below you, you can't move up after a win. What just happened this weekend? Does anybody Chimaev? know? Not Chimaev. There's another fight. Oh. Gilbert, can you guess? Can you guess what happened this weekend? There's a can fighter I, that let, let, me, let me finish you real quick what I was saying before uh, I okay. get interrupted. Okay, 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 <laughs> so okay. I think <laughs> if Moicano finishes anyone on the top 40 on his next fight, yeah. I do believe he's going to move up maybe around Chandler Dan Hook. And I think that will be a nice call out. Moicano goes crazy, talk about money. You know what? I'm going to take a little time off. I'm fighting so much, man. I have no blah, fuck blah, blah, time blah, off, blah. brother. Give me Max Holloway when he comes back for the BMF belt because my kind of wants money. I That's think a that good call, out, brother. But I would lose the fight, brother. But yeah, nah, but the BMF belt. Hey, BMF belt. No, I'm joking. I'm I'm you, cracking jokes so, over here. I'm a comedian, my brother. So Poria you, took you Max like, down you, right you away. You don't like the idea. You don't like the of idea. Of course, that's a that's a beautiful see, idea. Actually, see, I was saying, but they. You got to interrupt? I see what you're saying. My bad, my bad, bro. I see what you're saying. So I like what that. was your question? What was your question? The question is, you remember how the narrative is, even when we're talking to Bisping on the pod, he's like, yeah. well, Moicano beat somebody below him. That's why I didn't move up. Which fighter this weekend beat someone below them and moved up in the rankings? Who, who did who that? Is? I'm Tapuria? asking. Not support. <laughs> Not support. You're asking? He was already the champ. <laughs> yeah. He was already, I'm no, asking but I you guys. The, on no, the I'm, quiz, of all times. I'm quizzing you guys. There's one person. It's Leroy Murphy. He beat Dan Ige, who was below him, and go to hey, Twitter. Go you to forty-five go and kill these guys, Moicano. Go to so, forty-five. Leron look, look, Murph. Look. Leron Murphy moved up past Giga, and was a and, and was, he beat someone below him. It's and the what, same thing. And there was a the war. Thing. It wasn't even a domination. No, it was yeah, a war. And there was a decision. And yeah, that was yeah, a war. That's, so that's go fucked to up. Eat it right now. This Moicano. is not the fucking globalism, my brother. They're trying to keep it right the, now and go crazy. No, Moicano. no, it's okay, brother. Fuck that. No, I'm getting money. I know you're past know, it, but no, it was boy. just it was funny to see that after yeah. all that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the, the rank is the, they don't don't make any sense, my brother. That's go to Twitter right now. Go on Twitter. Yeah. But guess what? This year, I hope I get another fight soon as possible. Yeah. And then. We're gonna be no matter what one fight for the title. That's what Maybe I think. BMF. I have a question, bro. That's Maybe what I think. Should I put all of this on your money? One hundred percent, my brother. BMF belt. One hundred percent. I don't give a fuck, my brother. BMF belt. And then win the belt. is a win. I want the real. I don't even want the belt, my brother. Yeah. I want money. You cannot love money. He just read that. To do good for the people, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> to build houses and stuff for our people, my brother. In Brazil, in Brazil. First, I take care of myself, and then I will help other people, my brother. In Brazil, in Brazil. I still need to pay off my houses. <laughs> in Florida or in Brazil? In Florida. <laughs> All right, we're kind of tell the people what they need to do, bro. We should probably wrap up here. Thank you so much, everybody. We're in the podcast again. Soon we have fight news. Mary Betty is killing on the bats. So go over there and buy his code and make him money. <laughs> Gilbert to burn is soon to have a fight. Let's fucking go. Subscribe, comment, share. Let's fucking go, my brother. Show me the money. Show them the money, brother. Show them the money. Let's go. The best podcast in the business. If I throw a right hand. <laughs> right <wing. laughs> Boom! Let's go. Oh, it's nice. That's good. Yeah. Nice. One more. I think one it's more. I think it's more. No, I think it's more. I think it's more. You think it's more? Yeah. Nah, that was good. You won't. Don't quit. Nah, you won't. I, I heard my shit a little now.